Welcome to Jack's Coins and Collectibles. How y'all doing this Saturday morning? I'm going to go uh, do a book of my tokens I have. And show you what else I collect besides coins. I'm not sure if I can do this all in one part. I don't want to make it too long. People get distracted over long periods of videos. So I'm gonna start on the front page here. I live in North Carolina, which I believe most of y'all know. Uh, we have a casino over here. And uh, they done away with the, the coins and started using paper and the cart and, and you know plastic cards, debit cards and stuff. But these are one dollar coins. Used to be able to uh Put them in the slot machine. And they are metal. Eastern Band of Cherokees. One dollar. And they make these in a five. Five dollar coins. And I don't have any. I've looked online, I've looked at coin shows, and that's where I got some of these, is from coin shows. And, uh, I have a few of them. I even put one in one of my belt buckles, I didn't want to ruin one of my silver dollars. And, uh, so, then I have a couple Heads and tails, I won, you lost. There's another one of them. That is a cat claw for my cat. <laughs> my cat passed away and we had that cat for over 20 years. And this is a little thing that used to come in Hot Wheel cars. I collected Hot Wheels for years. Many years, I had hundreds of them. And I sold them, this is all I have left. These are a couple tokens. Now, the one that we have here in North Carolina is Harrods Casino. And these two right here, that one says it's from Atlantic City. started collecting them but I guess because I got a few of them from Cherokee and then found a few more different ones from different places that's an old one there so it says <laughs> Oh, 
Las Vegas, Nevada. And these this is um American veterans and that's iron that your vet our veterans we have. The Enterprise. That's a uh, the Enterprise is the name of a battleship, I believe. And there's a replica of the um, Barber Dollar. Not too good looking. I'd rather have the Barber Dollar. And then I'm some coins off somebody and he had a bunch of poker chips not poker casino chips that he had in there I just offer a price for everything a dollar a five dollar one a twenty five dollar one a fifty dollar one and then a friend of mine he went to Las Vegas and he brought me back this chip Pick them up here and there. And this is the back of them. Now this one here I picked up over here in Cherokee. Told the guy I wanted one. He said, "Throw a dollar down on the table, and he'll the man give you send you one." These I picked up, I think at the coin meeting. I'm not sure. I just thought they was pretty cool to have. Not too old, they got new pennies in them. Except for that one. These are tokens, like bus tokens. That was a sales tax token from Arizona. That was from Honolulu. Colorado. 35 to 37. There's one from Gary, Indiana. I'm guessing that's for a rail car or something like that. is in the Sons of the Confederates and they do a lot of good stuff around here they put flowers on the veterans graves and they down there today um, I saw on Facebook spread mulch at one of the historic houses we have here in McDowell and Marion getting they get the place ready to open up this summer That's just a plague. <laughs> a 
play coin. This isn't an old button. I looked it up, it's Nixon from the 1960s. He was running against John Kennedy. <laughs> it's nothing but a plug. Around my where I used to work at, knew I collected coins and he drew a TP and put 18, 10, 10 cents on it. <laughs> he thought that was funny. Then I have some wooden nickels. Coin shows. Rest Howard Johnson's restaurants. I don't even know if they still have them anymore. Sambo restaurants. That used to be a good place to eat. At least one in Florida where I used to work at. There's one with nickel. Then I have a bunch of shark teeth. My daughter and her son and them, they all went to the beach. Brought me back some shark teeth, so I put them in some two by twos and marked them. There's another one with a nickel. This is an end of an old Volkswagen key. This is a local, um, place that used to be here in Marion where I live at. Matter of fact, that steakhouse it used to be a uh, Italian restaurant also. And I worked there for 12 years. Had the best, that was the best woman I ever worked for. Mama Marina. And then here's another page of nickels. Wooden nickels, <laughs> not nickels. You know what I mean. Upstate coin shows. Then I picked a few of these other ones up at an antique shop. There's was a stone in a bowl. This is a local place that used to be here. They're not here no more. Fresh hours. Different coin shows. And now I got my copper rounds. I like my Indian copper rounds. I bought some of these also, dinosaurs on them. 
and put them up for my grandson. He loves dinosaurs. Kayla, number one fan, I want to thank you, she sent me this one, and it just so happens I don't have that one, so I don't know how she picked that out, but she did, that's the back of it. in here and then in my collection and I also collect pennies like this. My daughter went to the beach on her honeymoon, not her honeymoon, her anniversary. And she brought me this one back, that's Myrtle Beach. I'll be adding them to to my collection too. I like anything with you know Boy Scouts and stuff like that. And I picked up this little sheriff badge. It's a pen. It probably came with a cowboy set, you know, a six shooter and a, a hat and a gun holster and everything. You get the badge, you can be the sheriff. I found this, I can't remember, at, at the trade lot or somewhere. And uh, for some reason, it's got my initials on it, JLG. Nineteen forty nine, October. 
October 49 to October 14th to the 20th. Uh, down below, it's an 18 inch. What that is, I don't know. I may have. I've never Googled it. I should. I guess I should Google it. And then the next one is Port Canaveral, Florida. I used to live down in Orlando. My sister lives in West Palm Beach, where they used to shoot them off at. And watch the rockets from my house. I lived in Orlando. When I shot them off. So these are a couple of tokens I picked up here. That was found in a uh, roll of nickels. Found that in a car in the junkyard. A quarter. Looks like it got run over the railroad tracks. <laughs> And that's the back of them. Shell. Shell gas station. Now here are some more. Of my pennies. Back when they was having a toilet paper sh shortage, they came out with some. And <laughs> they was wanting, I think, $5 a piece for them. It's crazy. Road to the White House. My granddaughter went to a field trip. Fourth grade. This one says Limble Caverns. That's here in Mary, North Carolina. It's some caverns. They give turrets in them. They found it many years ago. They said the, uh, when they was having the uh, Civil War, a bunch of soldiers were hiding up in there until they, someone found the smokes coming out of the caverns. But it goes really deep. trip from Orlando. Gatorland, Florida. They help alligators and rattlesnakes. NASCAR Hall of Fame in Orlando. Earnhardt. Well, some of these I found this at a, my daughter's house that she used to live in. Found it in the yard. That's another one my granddaughter went on a trip back in 2015. They bring me back stuff like this. If you look at some of these clothes, if you use a regular copper penny, you can't, you can't see them this way through the plastic. But some of them you can make the dates out of the pennies, what year they are, if you do them with a, um, a pure copper penny. These are Cherokees. I got them over in Cherokee. I go to the powwows over there. I think that one was done on a nickel. We usually take a trip when we youngin when my, my youngins were little, my daughters. We take them over to Cherokee every year. And 
and watch the powwows. We love going over. It's nice and peaceful. That comes from the Outer Banks. Another one. My daughter, daughter, both my daughters went on a beach trip. Michigan Coin Show. Mount Rushmore, Arizona, Route 66. Back to the museum. Trip to Florida, then we went to South Carolina. And I need to add a couple of more of these. Every time they go, I'm sorry. Every time they go, they bring me one back, so. It's one-handed. I tried using my tripod, but the three-legged thing just don't want to. I ain't got the room. What is this one? Not that one. This one. No writing on that side. Just got a five on it. Oh my goodness, this is taking too long. 29 minutes. These are some tokens we got from Cherokee. Now that they use paper, like the, the old Chuck E. Cheese, wet and wild in Orlando, they don't have that no more. McDonald's, McDonald's. Where's these believe it or not? And then I have a few matches. I got these from Can Can, my brother. Except for that one. I got that one. Sitting bowl. Sorry about the glare. That's it. Except for couple shamrocks that are plastic. And this was exploring them over in uh, Myrtle Beach. My daughter went too. We brought them back a few years ago. And this has lasted 31 minutes and 36 seconds. Longer than I expected. I want to thank you watching and there 
there's another one. Like I said, these right. This one is plastic. These two come from. On the aquarium. Um, thank you for taking time to watch this. And y'all have a good weekend. What's left of it? Peace out.